Hello everyone and welcome to Cam Tai Handmade Creations and another tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the star stitch. So as always, I don't like the dawdle, so let's get started. How's everyone doing on today? Thank you for watching the tutorial. Today we're going to work on the star stitch. And I just want to say before we begin that um, I, I need for you to stay until for the third row. Um, the reason that is, is because each row has different steps to it. So in order for you to get this stitch right, in order for it to come out right, you need to watch the entire video. So go ahead and let's chain and we're going to chain an odd number and that odd number is going to be 35 and I'll be back when I have 35. So now the loop on your hook already counts as a loop. So you're going to skip that first stitch. Go ahead and go into the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. Go into the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. Go into the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. That gives you four loops on your hook. Go into your next stitch, pull up another loop, and go into the final stitch, which is your sixth stitch, and pull up a loop. Now you're going to yarn over. Make sure that your yarn is nice and loose. Yarn over and pull through all of your loops. You want your loops to be nice and loose because you have to go back through this final loop. So this first loop on your hook already counts as one. Go into the eye of that previous row. You'll notice it when you see it. Then take your hook and go into, there's a stitch right at the bottom. That was your last loop. Go ahead and put your hook through that loop. As you can see, if you make it too tight, you're going to struggle a little bit. So pull up a loop from that um, from that stitch. Go into the next one. That gives you four loops on your hook. Remember to keep your yarn nice and loose. Go back again for another loop. That's five. Go back again for another loop, and that's six. So you should have a total of six loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all of your loops and chain one. See if you, you make if you make the stitches too tight, you're gonna struggle with that piece there. So go into the eye. Now you have two. Go right into that side stitch. This is your last loop before you yarn over and pull through. Go through that one. That's three. Go into the next chain. That's four. And just keep doing this all the way across make sure that make sure to remember that that first loop on your hook the loop that's already on your hook when you finish when you yarn over and pull through and make your chain one when you do that that loop on your hook counts as your first loop then you go into the eye of the next stitch yarn over pull up a loop Go into the following, that side loop over there, right where I'm putting my finger. Pull up a loop. Go into the next one. Oh, I skipped. That's not cute. But you want to make sure that you do not do what I just did, <laughs> which was skip a stitch. So just make sure that you put all have six loops and do not skip any stitches because it's going to affect what happens at the end of your row. So ultimately what's going to end up happening is I'm not going to have enough loops to continue all the way over. So I'm just fixing this mistake real quick. So now I have a loop on my hook. That's one. Go into that eye. That's two. Go into that loop from, the, from when you made your slip. And then go through that. Go to the next loop. See, I went through the right one this time. Go through the next one. And finally, your last one, which is your sixth loop. Yarn over and pull through all of those loops. And then chain one. So, I'm going to go and continue and meet you at the end of the row. Most likely, I'm going to start this over and catch up. See you then. Okay, so we are back and so go ahead and continue on. I'm going to make this last 
half of the star stitch because right now we're only making half of your star stitch this is not the whole stitch that's why um i suggested that you stay until round three um because it will it will explain how you do the rest of these other two rounds and then you just repeat so <clears throat> now i'm at the end of the round here and i'm gonna go ahead and put a half double crochet in this row here and the last stitch, you should have one stitch left over. Now me, I really don't like to chain because I find that it gives a big gap. So I did not, I took out that chain for that last stitch there. And I'm just going to go right in and make a half double crochet. And I only did that because when you chain, it leaves the space there. It leaves a gap there. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have asthma. So we go ahead and chain two and turn your work. Now we're going to do half double crochets across. So you're going to put two half double crochets into these holes right here. We call them the eye of the stitch. So you see that hole? I'm going to loop a little bit closer so you can see where I'm putting my hook. But that right in that eye there is where you're going to put two half double crochets. And this is the other half of your star stitch. So once you turn your work around, you'll see the entire stitch. So make your two half double crochets going all the way across. And then I will meet you at the end. Remember, you're going into the eye of the stitch from the previous row and making two double crochets. I'm going to show you one more time and then I'll be back. Right there in that eye, two half double crochets. I'm going to make my way to the end and I'll be back. Okay, so now I am at the end and in these last two stitches here, I'm going to put um, two half double crochets in the end. I'm sorry, one half double crochet in the end right here. And that's your last half double crochet of the row. So now you're going to chain three turn your work and this is why I suggested you stay up until this point so now we're going to go ahead and go back in with our eye stitch you can change colors here if you want to it's up to you so the loop on your hook already counts as a stitch you're going to skip that first one and go into the next stitch there skip the next one and go into the very first stitch of the row and continue across until you have two, uh, six loops on your hook. And do just like you did for your first row. Yarn over and pull through all six and chain one. Make sure that it's nice and loops on your hook. And just repeat. Now you're just repeating round one. So your first uh, loop on that hook is that counts as one. You go into that eye. Then you go into the following stitch all the way up until you have six loops on your hook and then just yarn over, pull through all of your loops and chain one. So that is how you make your star stitch. Remember, please remember to count your stitches and not to skip any stitches um, because when you get to the end, it'll be all discombobulated. So now we're at the end of the row and I'm going to put one double crochet into each of these stitches at the end of the row and there is your star stitch. So now for your next row, um, you just go ahead and chain two, turn your work and go ahead and make two half double crochets in each of those eye stitches there. So we're now back at the end of the row and this is what your star stitch looks like. It is a great stitch for a blanket so give it a try. Thank you for watching this tutorial on today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok at Camtai Handmade Crochet. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.